will rise. Round one, coming up next. Mm -hmm. Welcome everybody, the path to the national championship begins now. I'm Forrest Hunt, pleased to be joined by my partners, Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. This is College Basketball on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Yukon Huskies going up against the Michigan State Spartans. And Michigan State, one of the blue bloods of college basketball. With MP in tow, they're ready to challenge for the title once again. And Clark, talk to me about the Huskies and what sticks out to you. It's all about defense with them. Defense, defense, defense. And the man leading the way for them is Gregor Malvin. The intensity he plays with can shut down just about any opponent. And the rest of the team feeds off of that energy. He'll be a factor in this one for sure. Both teams ready to start what they hope will be a long run through the tournament. Here's Porter. Outside Macy. Pass to Webb. On the wing, Malvin. Six to shoot. The 19-foot shot. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And a look here at the sophomore, Gregor Malvin, one of the best perimeter defenders in the nation, can just hound an assignment from start to finish. Here's O'Connor. Back to MP. Let's it go from 11. Here's Harvey. Basket counts. Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. Pass to Porter. Outside, Webb. Malvin. From 11 feet away. Second shot opportunity. The shot. No good. Good D by MP. To the paint. Knocks it loose. Malvin with the steal. And they're running. The finish. And Macy with the stop. And, and good ball movement by Malvin. Instantly giving it away once he spots a ready shooter. Malvin known for his ferocious defense. He's been like that ever since his freshman year. He's as hard to shake as any defender. Great footwork to stick with his guy. He stay right on top of him. Moves his feet well. Gets under your skin and takes you out of your game. He's frustrating to go against. Pass to Porter. Outside Webb. On the wing, Malvin. That's in. Coming off an assist from Webb. And nice touch from Malvin on the mid-range. Proving he can find his points at any range. And these opening round games, Clark, the eight versus nine matchup is always one of the fun ones. You know, over the years, there have been some classics between the eight and nine seeds. Usually one of the teams is a major school that kind of got in late. Hopefully we get another great finish with this one. Jeffrey Thompson. Outside Malvin. Outside Webb. To the wing on the left side. Now here's Scott. Early covering. And the basket by Malvin. Boy, look at Malvin going to work inside. That's pretty impressive. I like the craftiness and the skill level, too. Pass to Early. Back to MP. Harvey in the post. Inside. And there's the call on Malvin. That is his first foul of the game. And the Husky. UConn in the lead. And it's Hayward with the foul. Frederick. It'll be his second foul of the game. And that's foul number two. Maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Webb, Lambert defending, holds up on the elbow. Nice. Four for seven from the floor with that shot. And looking at the field in the tournament this year, it feels like there are no heavy favorites to go all the way. Even one seeds have their weaknesses. I can see 10 or more different teams making it to the finals. This thing is really wide open. Now here's MP. 
Stolen by Smith. Back to Malvin. And that comes off the assist by Smith. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. And Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Hayward from long range, drills it from outside. Hey, clearly, Hayward's been putting in some extra work from deep now. I mean, he's getting results because he's put in the time. Pass to Thompson. Webb on the wing, Malvin. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. MP right side. And here's Hayward. Guarded by Smith. And here's MP outside. And it's UConn with the rebound. You know, they're not totally dominating the glass, but they're definitely doing enough to keep this lead right where it is. Yeah, but the set they've separated themselves, Clark, in a number of categories. Rebounds just being one of them. And that's how you read the floor offensively. Smith seems to always know what's going on. And MP leading this team in their conference tournament. They were able to secure a ticket by winning it all. They have a lot of momentum coming into this. Now here's Kelly, MP. The rebound by Webb. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Malvin with it. Now guarded by MP. That is off the mark. He's shooting 60% on 6 of 10 shots. Pass to Harvey. Outside, Hayward. MP up top. Kelly. Back to MP. Deflected. Fast break. Here they come. Here's Webb. And that's good. A nice job on the glass. And they pick up two on the second effort. Here's Harvey. Outside, Hayward. Now here's MP. Outside, Lambert. Back to MP. And that drops for him. He's two for seven in this game. And with MP and his team, like you said, Clark, they're peaking at the right time. And if you wonder if something clicked for them in the conference tourney, they looked a lot more focused as a team those last few games. They could be one of the dark horses in the field. And Greg, as you know, there's nothing quite like the atmosphere of the tournament. I mean, it's special. It's electric. It's really unlike any other sporting event, in my opinion. And, and you can feel all the eyes around the world on you. This is where legends are made and legacies are built. The winner-go-home feeling of every game cannot be replicated. Now, here's Lambert. Looking for his first basket still in this one. The kick out to Hayward. Pass to Kelly. MP guarded by Smith. Now Hayward to the inside on the shot clock. MP no good. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Thompson. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots coming up. The four times UConn has won the national championship. Reach halftime in this one. It's the Huskies. They lead by nine. Your Spartans, 17. UConn Huskies, 26. Glad to have you with us as we get into the second half action here in the opening round on 2K Sports. And what do you make of the performance we saw from MP in the first half? Well, you know, more turnovers and assists, not what you're looking for from the point guard position. Hopefully he can settle down for the second half. He, he's got to focus in and make better decisions. Pass to Porter. Outside Macy. Here's Webb. Lambert defending. And Liver with the block. The Spartans trailing. MP inside, guarded by Malvin. Lambert up top. Back to MP. Early outside. MP outside. And there's the foul, and it's on Webb. That's his first foul. Out 
on the right wing. Up top early. Down low. Five to shoot. Malvin with the steal. His turnovers haven't helped their cause. It's almost as if he's playing for the other team. And you love the makeup of the Spartans. Nice blend of talent and experience. They have the occasional one and done, but usually recruit guys who stay two, three, four years. Of course, they also choose guys who fit their system, which is really important. It is a well-oiled machine in East Lansing. That's for sure. You know, from all the success the UConn men's program has had, it may always be overshadowed by what the women have done. You talk about Huskies basketball, and you're probably right. The first thing that comes to mind is the powerhouse women's program. And that's no knock on the men's program. You just can't ignore all the titles on the women's side. I mean, that program is one of the great dynasties in college history across all sports, male or female. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth from that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And MP, one of the bigger names in college, built the following with his video channel. He was famous before he even stepped foot on the campus. And MP, with all of his internet fame, there were questions about how serious he is about high-level basketball. Well, there's a world of difference between success on the playground and success in college basketball. MP clearly has the talent and skill. Some just wondered how it would translate to a more competitive environment. Outside, Malvin. Shot clock at six. Screen by Webb. Malvin, no good. Here's O'Connor to the middle, down low. Macy with the steal. Here's the break. Pass to Malvin. Back to Scott. Porter to the inside. His first shot attempt, and it doesn't go for him. And it's Michigan State's ball on the wing. MP to the paint. Inside. And he banks in the layup. And you can see the balance MP has, showing he can take contact and finish through. Pass to Porter. Macy. And here's Webb. Malvin. Back to Webb. Uncovered. And that one drops for him. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Simply taking advantage of what the defense has given them, and they've really made the most of it. Coming on to the floor, boy. UConn in the lead. Malvin with it. Here's Porter. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Pass to O'Connor. Macy with the steal. Here's Scott. Here's Porter. He makes good on the layups. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. And that's held true in this one so far. And Clark, their effort on the glass has given them the advantage, but it's also been the effort in general that's made a difference. Malvin with it. Now guarded by MP. Takes the three. Can't hit that one. And Michigan State the other way now. And with MP, you know he's passionate about playing hoop, but... You have to wonder if his heart is set on the NBA. He's got such a following that he could make a name for himself as a street player. Hard to do both. Not a likely outcome, but something NBA scouts need to be aware of. MP outside. Poked loose. And the ball out of play. The Huskies will have it. Here's Porter. Pass to Macy. 
Malvin with it over MP. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws coming for us. It's going to be on MP. And this is just who Malvin is. A hard nosed guy who never backs down from contact. Both shots good from the stripe. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. That's exactly how you do it. Defender pressing up on you, you press right back. Gregor Malvin with the steal. Here's the one-on-one. -on -one. And the basket by Macy. Well, I'll tell you what, getting out in transition has really been a big part of this run they're on now. And the best way to pile up points in a hurry, just run and get your buckets before the defense can get set. This Spartan squad struggling. Early outside. MP guarded by Malvin. MP no good. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. Well, they need a basket in the worst possible way. They've got to stop this run, and the only way you do that, you got to score yourself. And here's Harvey. Here's MP. Ball's knocked loose. Early outside. MP. O'Connor guarded by Macy. Pass to O'Connor. MP up top. Shot clock at five. And just miss after miss right now. Now Scott. And the foul called on MP. MP. That will give That's him his fourth, fourth foul of the game, and we're in double Shooting bonus. That means two shots coming up. And being over the Shooting limit this early really can affect your aggressiveness defensively. They have got to play under control. And good on the second, so he makes both. They've been looking out of sync offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's O'Connor, guarded by Macy. Over to the wing, to the middle. Malvin with the steal. Outside Two Scott, remaining in the game. pass to Malvin. Two minutes. Back to Scott. Here's Porter. Outside Macy. Porter, RV covering. Out to the right wing. Five on the clock, back to Scott. Now here's Macy. Three-pointer. Harvey grabs the board. They've been looking out of sorts on the last few possessions. And this is when you need to be patient. Find a high percentage shot and have some floor balance. Now here's Malvin. Outside Macy, pass to Webb. Over Lambert. Tries again. Webb shots good. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You know, that just can't happen. They need much more effort than that on the glass. Here's early. He lets go from deep. It's good from long range. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. Scott with it, pass to Porter, outside Macy, and here's Malvin. Scott with it, here's Porter, outside Macy, early with the steal. Here's O'Connor, guarded by Macy, and it's O'Connor missing. Here's Malvin. And the Yukon Huskies will move on. Wow, that was not even close. I was hoping for a more competitive game, but hey, these blowouts happen sometimes. Had a disappointing loss for Michigan State. You know MP has to be taking this one hard. 
Here's hoping he will let this experience shape him. How you doing, bro? I mean, I know you kind of been going through it ever since you flamed out spectacularly in that tournament. You auditioning for Top Techs Daily? You need to come more provocative than that, homie. All right, well, how about you are a disgrace to basketball, you care more about your YouTube career than you'll ever care about hooping, and you're ugly. First of all, I'm not ugly, and just because you call yourself pretty don't mean it's true, homie. You're right. My face makes it true. Oh, okay. Nah, for real, come on, you gotta just admit this. You're the athlete. And I am the brains, heart, soul, and face of this entire operation. I mean, the facts is just the facts. Bruh, stay modest. <laughs> but for real, man, how you feeling? I mean, I know you don't really like to talk after you lose, so. No, obviously, I, I didn't expect stuff to end like this, man. You know, I still got a, I got a lot of ball left in me. I'm about to sit up here and cry about it. It's whatever. That's the only way to live life, bro. Yeah, facts. Hey, look, since we're on the topic, You've been thinking at all about next steps? I mean, you know I always got ideas, but I just, I wanna know where your head's at right now. Okay, so what about the G League? I think it's a solid option, to be honest. But you think I should skip the draft, though? Ah, I don't know. I mean, it's tough, man, because the position you're in right now, you could go to someone that just wants to use you as a trade ship and unexpectedly ends up with a second late in the night and they're just like, let me take a shot because maybe he could sell some merch. So I can, I can, I can wind up in a bad situation, yeah. Man, you could. Or it could be great. I mean, look at Emmanuel quickly. Everybody thought he was going second, got drafted by the Knicks in the first, and he just took off. Yeah, but I'm not getting drafted in the first round, bro. Yeah, probably not. Look, and this is why I want to go to the G League. I think that'd be the best situation for me. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you prove yourself there, you can get scooped up by a team at any time. Yeah, you're still a young prospect, too, so that's a lot of untapped upside there. I'm thinking about the draft. Word. Okay, and you do not sound excited about that. No, nah, I mean, I am. I mean, we're, we're right there, bro. We're close. But look, from what I'm hearing, you might go undrafted. And that's really not the position you want to be in. When you're in that territory, you might get picked up by somebody that don't, really don't want to focus on you just because they got an extra 50-second pick to give away. So you saying I shouldn't declare? No. But I just want you to know what the deal is. And I want you to know that you have options. Like, you can always do the G League thing, focus on street ball. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can go about this, but just be aware that getting drafted ain't always the best thing for someone in your position. I mean, sometimes it could be more of a curse than a blessing. Word. Yeah, I feel like I got a lot to think about, man. Yeah, you do. But you also got a lot of people who care about you. So don't feel like you got to make this decision on your own. Yo, for sure. I appreciate
You made a decision, haven't you? You can tell that just by looking at my face, bro. Man, how long have I known you? Since what? Can it... Hey, so what you think? What do I think? I, I can't believe this, bro. Hey, bro, you've been gassing me ever since we was in kindergarten, and you can't believe this? Look, I'm just saying, man, this is huge. This is the NBA, Yo. bro, and it's, it's like for real, really... For real. Hey, yo, boy, is it really happening, though? Man, shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. All right, so what's next, Mr. Manager? What we doing? Next? Next? I, I, I got a lot to do. But I'm going to need a minute to set everything up. So why don't you just come back in a little bit and we can talk details. All right, so what should I do in the meantime? Yo, yo, you ready to talk agents, bro? Are you ready, Rick? I'm excited. Hey. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm here. I have an appointment with Charles Hampton. And you must be MP. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
Yeah, Charles is with your friend Ricky in our East Conference room. Oh, they're here? Yeah, I got here about 10 minutes ago. He said he didn't want to keep you waiting. Ooh, that's my boy, okay. Yeah, you can head right back through there. Uh, you'll see them in our conference room and you can't miss it. Great, thank you. And my name's uh, Adriana, in case you need anything. I appreciate that, Adriana, thank you. Yeah, enjoy your meeting. He's got crazy engagement on his oh, YouTube. Oh, it's been growing every Pe day. Yeah, people are commenting. They just, he's just got this natural kind of. What's going you know, on, guys? Oh, it's MP. Oh, it's MP. Hey, How are you doing? There he goes. How you doing, Charles? Good to see you, MP. Am I interrupted something? Y'all sound like y'all having a good conversation. <laughs> nah, Definitely good. man. I, I, I was just telling him about an album launch party I was at with The Weeknd oh, in Paris. Word? It's wild, man. Dope. Yeah, it's a long story. But, uh, you know, I know you're a busy man. We should just get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm, I'm excited to hear what you got to say. Oh, you just gonna represent yourself now, all right? No, 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 if that's what we're doing. Come on, shut up. Just let the man talk. <laughs> my bad. Sorry about my client. You guys, you guys ready for, to hear my pitch? Yes. Please, continue. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'd like to tell you guys two things you know, two things you don't know. Yeah? All right, let's start with what you know. You're a remarkable talent. Someone with a chance to do something very special in the league. With you so far. Second, and most importantly, uh, or I should say, due in large part to your boy Ricky over here, <clears throat> you've saying. got a very large, very quantifiable, and therefore very monetizable fan base, and they'll hang on your every word whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. Hey, did you know that this dude didn't even want to start a YouTube page? Right. Like, no, no, in the beginning, wow. it was like pulling teeth with him. Let the man finish talking. Well, well listen, <laughs> let's, let's talk about what you don't know. First, you have the potential to make more money off the court than any player in the history of the NBA. I like that. Second, and most importantly, you can accomplish this outside of a larger corporate structure answering only to yourselves, your vision. Okay, but what about somebody like Nike, right? Are you, are you saying that we wouldn't be working with them? No, no, or? no, it's not that you wouldn't work with Nike or Gatorade or whoever, right? But the, but the, the whole goal is to position you as a trailblazing icon. Because mm. nobody else has your story, MP. Yeah. And we know how to make the most of it. Uh, OK. You guys know E-40. <laughs> E-40, yeah. yeah. Dude's a legend, man. Well, listen, growing up in the Bay, he's a hero of mine. And, and not just because of his music, which is ridiculously good, right. but because the dude did it on his own terms. Mm. The guy started a record label when that was not something rap artists did. Yeah. He's inspired me since day one. I mean, I mean, truth be told, he's the reason why I became an agent. Because I wanted to help artists establish their unique vision, their truths, no matter what the outside world told them was possible. That's what you need. That's what we can do for you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that all sounds great, Charles. What'd you think, MP? You know, Charles, Ricky and I, we, we always talking about using sports to set up other stuff. My, my music, my mm -hmm. fashion, like that's the type mm -hmm. of career I see for myself, man. Just groundbreaking as a new athlete. That's what I want. So do we have a deal? Hey, you know what, Charles? Man, we got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. Let's we go. got a deal, man. That's what's up. So what are we doing? How do, what, what happens next? Well, look, man, I'm going to hang back with Ricky. We'll hash out some details. Cool, cool. You know, go do you, man. Go work out, hey, watch look. film, whatever these superstars do. It's a pleasure. I'm looking forward to working with you, man. Ricky, I can't Oh, yeah, we're going to do some big things, MP. Charles, it ain't over, man. It's just getting started. Nah, we're just getting started, my <laughs> friend. So let's talk, Charles. What kind of percentages we looking at? Oh, well, listen, man, I got some branding ideas.
MP, what's up, man? Welcome to the Gatorade training facility. Hey, look, thank you, man. You a fan? Yeah, of course. I've been watching your videos since, like, back in the day. Okay. And it's kind of crazy I'm even talking to you right now. Hey, look, well, it's nice to meet you, man. This is a this is a dope spot you got here. Yeah, I just work here, but yeah, it's nice. Just so you know, the gym's open 24 hours a day. Ooh. So whenever you, whenever you feel like putting in the work, we're here for you. Hey, look, I love that. Look, I've been known to put up some midnight shots, all right? I to hear that. I've seen a lot of legends come through this gym. One thing.
What's good, MP? You up for a little challenge? I got just the thing for you. I want to see you being disruptive on defense today. Get out there and make your presence felt.
Hey, neighbor. Are you? Jake from State Farm. Oh, you hang out here, bro? Yeah, hey, right next to the course in your neighborhood. Hey, that's dope, fam. <laughs> hey, speaking of being a good neighbor, I'd like to welcome you to the city. Very excited to have the great MP as my newest neighbor. Hey, look, I appreciate that, man. I didn't realize you was a fan, homie. Oh, hey, we're all rooting for you, MP. It's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, as a show of my support, I'd like to offer you my official look. Can't join Team Stay Farm without the drip, right? Hey, look, I guess not, bro. <laughs> hey, awesome. I'll be seeing you around, MP. Let me know if you need anything. And remember, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. there. I was waiting for you to say it, man. <laughs> hey, look, I appreciate this. Jake oh. from State Farm. Yeah, hey, listen, pleasure's all mine. Keep doing your thing.